Hello, this is Ari the Hunt. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to navigate through pages. Here's an example of a website I'm, I'm going to host shortly that I created. Now, don't worry, we're not going to do something that complicated, but we're going to do the point. What's the point? First, save your project in, a, in the selected folder. So, we will begin by drawing a red square. Double click on it and press F8 to convert it to a symbol. Name it red square. And make it a movie clip. Select the text tool and make a label for a button. Type in next page. Then once again select the pointer tool. Now name our first layer buttons. Now create th four more layers put buttons on the second to top. Name the first layer scripts. This is where action will go. Name this one labels. This is where our labels will go. Name and name the third one content. This is where our writing will go. Then Met, um, extended about 10 frames three times, pressing F6 to make a new keyframe. Name the last one done on the labels layer and name this one start. Okay, so now on done, delete the button and on content layer type in the word done, just so we know where we are. Later we'll add more fancy things on this page. Make the last frame, by the way, by pressing F5. Name the movie clip instance Red BTN. Remember, instance name are case sensitive, so only use um, lowercase letters. Okay, so now 
we're going to add some frames to this one. So make two layers and name the first one labels and the second one picture. Again, extend it 10 frames, 10 more fr frames. Remember to make the last one a keyframe, which I soon will realize that I messed up on making it a regular frame. See? Here. And now, press F5 on this one. Good. Now, click on labels, name this one roll out because it's the one that will display when they roll out and on regular. So then we I'll name the next one press and the third one roll over. Now on press we'll keep roll out the same. Here I had some trouble. I was trying to edit the darkness, which you, which I couldn't figure out how to do. So, make it a dark on press. Make it a darker shade because people like things dark when they press it. To the opposite, name roll over. Uh, make roll over a lighter phrase because pe when people roll over, they like something light. Now, go back to the main frame and on the buttons layer, we will make Now we will edit on the script. So, type in red BTN on rollover. You must type in the instance name. This means on rollover, when you roll over, this is the event. Then when you're not doing on the instance, it's a function. Then press go to and stop. Type in this or red BTN because we're not talking about the big timeline. And now type in go to and stop, meaning it'll go to a frame and stop there. Roll over to the roll over frame. Okay, now type in red BTN again on roll out. E and it's a f once again a function. Red BTN. Now go to and stop. Roll out. Type in on red btn dot on press equals function then red btn or this again and type in go to and stop and the press frame. Not that complicated, is it? Isn't there a whole bottle somewhere? Oh, I thought you said you took another one. Okay, so now we've basically got the rollover and press. Now we need to add some navigation with the big timeline.